Are you looking to install a double Android system on your Android device rather than installing VMOS on your Android device? Then you're on a good video today. We look at the best alternative to VMOS that is enabling you to install a second Android device on your Android device. So the the emulator we're going to look at today is pretty dope and actually it works on any Android as some two gigabyte of RAM with at least 16 gigabyte of memory. So it's a pretty cool alternative to VMOS because with this you don't need no root or anything of the sort are going to be able to play all of your modded games on this second android device on your android device so you are going to be able to play games with modes like pokemon go so you can name them all we meet after the video introduction let me let me explain to you what this to vmos is all about Okay, so back to the video tutorial. If you notice the little difference in my introduction, I was having a virtual Android device installed on my Android device. Just so, just to prove you right, if you check out, I'm actually using an Android version 9.0. So, but what you saw at the beginning of the video was an Android version of 7. So, today we're talking about the best alternatives to VMOS. So, if you have been trying to install VMOS on your Android device and you have errors like not able to download ROMs, not able to root your device, then this video is the right solution for you so today we're looking at one of the best alternative of vmos and i assure you that you are going to actually love it so please if you are first on this channel click on the subscribe button hit the notification bell to stay tuned with the latest hacks and tricks on ikea codec so to start first let us go to play store so the name of this application is of this virtual machine is actually called virtual android so you come on your search bar you just search for virtual android so once you search is it the first option so this is what you're going to get so virtual android game emulator dual space is the best alternative you are going to have for vmos this v this virtual android actually enables you to install an android device on your android device and able to have a double android system so for this once this is downloaded let us let me move so i did a series of screenshots to walk you through the installation process so once it's downloaded the first thing is that you are going to need to have data so let me say just let just preserve like 1.5 gig of data to actually download the resource file so you can see make sure to download the resource package in order to use the virtual android normally and need to download 611 megabytes so this is the only thing like i think is a downside of this so you need data to actually start using this so once you download this the next thing you're going to have is to allow some access to your device like the photos access to pictures access to audio so once this theory access are actually granted you are going to get here so once at this step when you click on the start and you're going to start your android device so you can see installing at this stage after clicking on the start at this stage you don't need data you can check a little notification that says installation don't use lte data and it takes about one to two minutes to actually install the virtual android system on your android device so as i said this virtual android will work on a device with two gigabyte of ram and 16 gigabyte of memory so that's what is cool about this compared to vmos actually requires 4 gigabyte of ram and 32 to 64 gigabyte of internal memory and also need a rooted device so if your device isn't rooted you won't have no problem with this and if your device is rooted you also have no problem with this so now let us jump to it user interface itself i already have this installed let us start the virtual android so you can see it is as i showed in the screenshot so once everything is downloaded the resources this is what you're going to see you can click on the start you can see starting and once it's going to start you are going to be presented this window so the speed of this android of this double android system will depend on your android device so a gigabyte android device is going to be an advantage to you if you are using to see going to work but not as great as on the four gigabyte right of phone so here it's a user interface of our virtual android system so you can see it's pretty dope they work through so the first thing you do is that there is an interface you can have gallery imp you can import so in here this is where you can import apps from your android system from your mother android system to this virtual android so you can see here are all my application installed on my android system and you can see there's a little float menu if you click here these are the other we have desktop multi tasking shutdown and hide so if i click on switch look at what happens I get to my Android system itself and if I use my multi-tax, I get back to the Android system. So you can see here you can import application and you can also import files. So for example, if you have modded files of games, let us say Pokemon Go, you can import them directly into this virtual Android system with no problem. 
Another thing we're going to check at is how to install application on this. So you can see Play Store is already there. So with Play Store there, what you need to do is just to sign up with your Google account. So once you are signed up with your Google account, you're going to get everything you need from Play Store. And I show you this is the best Android emulator. This is the best Android emulator you're going to get as an alternative to Vmos. And now if you check at the spec that's I get that's all what you guys are waiting for. If you go on setting, let's all check at this. I uh, said the Android version is seven, I think it's much my low. So if you go on seven, so the, let us click and okay, no got so seven is no got so you can see we have no got. Okay, and for the RAM, if you check at the disk space, I'm using a four gigabyte RAM. As I said, if you are using two it is going to still work but not as great as four and if you're using six it's going to be a great advantage because we work more than four gigabyte of ram of performance and for my storage my I have a 64 gigabyte of storage and it works actually pretty good so for this as i said the only downfall is that you need data that is 600 that is almost one gigabyte of data but once that rom is downloaded you will need again data because for the installation as i said you saw the notification there that no lta data required and once this is done, you can import every, anything of your choice from your Android device, from your, from your Android system to this virtual Android system. As I said, using this import, this is where the great magic happens with this application. You can import anything of your choice. For example, if I import Bootstrap, waiting, let us see, you can see installing already and it's installed. If I go on the menu, get yeah, Bootstrap and if I open it from here, you will see that it is so you guys can see this bush that i have installed all my virtual android system and you think i'm going to end this video at this level and please if you have any question regarding this please leave a comment and i'm very very grateful for those of you that have made iq codec 7 4700 subscribers and i'm very very grateful for those who are actually increasing the family because we notice a great change in our views and very grateful for you watching these videos i'm very grateful for you supporting us and i wish you the best for this new month that is actually starting in let us say today is the 30th so the September is starting in the next 48 hours happy new month see you in my next video tutorial it is fabrice on my codec peace